Okay, now we're going to talk about brushes, and we're going to go very basic on this. Basically, your brush tool, or B, uh, has a brush, pencil, color replacement, and mixed mixer brush tool. I'm really just going to talk about the brush tool right now. So the brush tool is one of your primary tools to apply paint to a um, to a, 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 an image. Um, so let's take a look at the options menu. So when I'm in brush, right, I get this menu, which allows me to choose a bunch of uh, other um, tools. So not necessarily something we want to concern ourselves greatly with. This is very powerful here. This allows you to change the size and the hardness. Now the hardness means the edge hardness. So how hard or soft, meaning how much does it fade at the edge. So 100% hardness would be no fading whatsoever, meaning it goes from one color to the next in two pixels. However, the fading zero or the hardness zero means it's the maximum meaning only the center of my circle here in fact, let's, let's go ahead and give an example here right so this is faded uh, zero hardness and a hundred percent hardness right both the same size but you can see that it slowly fades out into white and this there's no fade whatsoever all right. Um, underneath that, you can choose a bunch of different brushes, and this is where it gets real fun. So you can have uh, the brushes that are there already, I think, come down to these first four. So general brushes, um, you have dry brush media, right? And so these simulate uh, different types of br dry brushes like charcoal or things like uh, things that you'll find in an art studio. Um, you also have wet media, so um, oils, right? Like what oils might look like, and they start to blend. This gets really fun. Um, you also have special effects, right? And special effects can get kind of crazy. Um, this is a. Yeah, I think I went overboard on this one. <laughs> there we go. Uh, special effects are, you know, just these different kinds of brushes that are preloaded here. Um, but what's really great is this little uh, gear. If you click it, okay, you can rename brushes, delete brushes, you can import brushes, and that's where it gets a lot of fun. So one of the places that I recommend going is to BrushEasy.com. Uh, and so Brush Easy does some really cool things. Uh, they allow you to download some real brushes for Photoshop. And so let's just go and take the click on the smoke here. Uh, most of them are free. Um, some of them are not so free. So I think I clicked on it here. Oh, there we go. So I've got to wait four seconds and five seconds and then it downloads and so I'm just going to go ahead and go right to that folder okay there's my folder and what you'll find is an ABR file and what's really great is now you just have to double click on the ABR file and here we go our real smoke pixels or uh, brushes so now if I click on one of them I'm gonna make it black just so we can see it. But now you can see we've got these really great brushes. And some of them are really powerful. You can find brushes for just about anything. And in fact, you can even make your own brushes nowadays. And that gets really exciting. Um, as far as manipulating the brushes, um, you have, uh, let's see, your brush settings. So over here, um, if you want to start creating your own, let's start with a general blob circle. Um, but I can go to Dynamics, and I can jitter it, um, angle the jitter a little bit. Um, you can scatter, and this is where it starts to like kind of get crazy. Uh, let's go both axes. Um, you can apply some textures. So like let's apply 
some kind of texture to it. Uh, a whole bunch of things here. Noise, um, smoothing over, right? And then, you know, like this is the brush we created. And it does this jittery kind of pop thing. Um, now, I'm not going to go too far since this is only the essentials, but there are so many things you can do with brushes just creating your own um, that uh, just through here. And this is also the place where, um, as you can see, uh, when you have a particular uh, type of input device called a um, drawing pad with the pencil or the stylus, um, some of them are pressure sensitive, like uh, some of the more expensive ones, um, at, like the bamboos. These are really great because this is the area where you turn on that function so that the harder you press down, the harder the paint goes on or the, the pencil or whatever it is you're working with. Um, you know, it tries to simulate what it's like in the real world to use those kinds of tools. Um, so just know that brush settings is where you want to go for that. Um, and then, you know, you can hide these right here instead of uh, messing around up in here. You can just go right there. There are other things that you'll want to know. Brushes can also have their own um, blend modes, right, just like layers. Um, you have the opacity function here so that, right, you can see that it, there's, it's more opaque uh, as I change it down. You also have flow. And so think of that as like an airbrush. You know, it's how much paint is coming out of it. Um, flow and opacity often get um, kind of uh, grouped together, but they are different. You know, um, you know they, are, they are different uh, functions. Um, and then smoothing. I don't know if I've ever used smoothing a whole lot. There's a few other things here, but we're not going to get into it in the essentials. So just know that here, this is where you can do a lot of good things. And then also in your brush settings, you can do a lot of good things creating your own brushes, as well as you can go to brusheasy.com. And there are other sites as well, but I like this one in particular, and download free brushes. Um, and you can see there are all sorts of you know, snowflakes, all sorts of different brushes that are there for free for you to use. All right, that's about wraps this one up.